Ugh. Hi there, it's Mimsy here. Are you having trouble with bird nesting uh, on the bottom side of your fabric? I'm gonna tell you three things that you need to do in order to eliminate this. The first thing that you need to do is rethread your sewing machine. I've been working on these cushions. So I've been working on those cushions for the last couple days and I kept getting bird nesting in the bottom of my fabric. So what I didn't realize when I was making the cushions and kept getting the bird nesting issue is that somehow my thread had wrapped around this thread guide. I, I didn't realize it and so it was causing a different tension on my thread and that's why I was getting the bird nesting. So that's the first thing that you should do when you're having a bird nest issue is to re-thread your machine. So cut your thread up here and pull the thread out the bottom of your machine or out of your needle direction. You never want to pull your thread back that way because it could um, affect something in your tension wheels. When you're re-threading your machine the most important important thing to remember is that your presser foot must be in the up position. If you re-thread your machine with your presser foot down, what will happen is, is your tension wheels will squeeze together or tighten together. And then when you go to thread your machine, the thread will not seat properly in your tension wheels. That right there will give you bird nesting. So that's why the first thing you wanna do is re-thread your machine. If you re-thread your machine, with your presser foot up and it still doesn't solve the issue, the second thing that you wanna do is change your needle. You'd be surprised how often your needle will get bent or will get blunt or it could develop a burr. A, a bent needle will frequently cause issues of a jammed sewing machine and bird nesting on your fabric. Change out your needle for a brand new needle and just make sure that you're using the right needle for the weight of the fabric. Rethread your machine, change out your needle. If neither, if either of those things don't work, which most likely the rethreading your machine will work 99% of the time, if that's not the case, then just clean out your bobbin casing and make sure that your bobbin is wound the correct direction inside of your bobbin case. If I had this turned around so that my thread was winding towards me, this would cause issues with, and it would jam up my machine as well. It may not give me a bird nest, but it'll definitely jam up the machine. So, and then the tension on the bobbin is important. You wanna be able to hold your bobbin thread. Your thread should hold in your bobbin like that. If you go like that, it will release a little bit, but it should hold. Those are the three things that you want to check if your sewing machine is jamming up and you're getting bird nesting. Likely just re-threading your machine will do the trick. Another thing that might be the case is if you have a different thread on the top than you do on the bottom as far as thread weight goes, that could be a problem, that could jam up your machine. So you definitely wanna use the same top thread as bobbin thread. Uh, let's see if I can think of anything else that it might be. Uh, broken needle could be stuck in your casing, that in your bobbin casing, that could jam up your machine. That probably won't do bird nesting, but it could jam up your machine. Um, and then tension issues. In general, I almost never change my tension. I always leave my tension on five so that these two red lines meet on my machine and I almost never change my tension. So if you're having tension issues, do some tension testing with fabric and two different color threads. That might be the issue, but likely it's just the top thread that needs to be re-threaded with the presser foot up. If you are still having trouble after checking those three things or doing those few different things that I suggested, there might be one other issue with your top thread. And if you wanna look at that video, click on that video right here.